Hi everyone, welcome to Code with Scalar. Aman from this side, and today we are going to implement the functionality of infinite scroll. So uh, let me show you how the final project will look like. Just observe uh, at the starting we have nine images, right? As I scroll, there are more images loading, right? Look. all the images uh, initially are not loaded uh, once i am scrolling uh, then it's flashing data and we are able to see more images right as i scroll down so this is the functionality we are going to implement for this i am going to resume uh, or you can say i am going to use our gallery project which we have covered in the previous video let me show you how it looks like this is how it looks like uh, it has fixed number of images and even if i scroll down uh, we don't have any more images right so we'll be implementing the infinite scroll functionality in this project okay if you want to complete whole project so i highly recommend you to go and watch the gallery image video if you just want to see uh, how we can implement the infinite scroll so you can just stick to this video and you will get to know how let's start with modifying our gallery project or gallery project code so if i click on any image we do have it uh, image opens right so all the functionality which we had in our gallery project will be intact we'll be just adding one more functionality of infinite scroll right so first of all i am removing all the static images right and we'll be using an api uh, unsplash api which will be give us a random image okay we'll be using this so uh, initially uh, i am creating a function uh, get image its responsibility will be to get an image and add it to image container right so let's have a response uh, fetch data from this url and as it's a asynchronous task so i may be adding a wait and make this function asynchronous okay and let's see uh, what's here at our the function and see uh, what do we have in our response you can see we have a url uh, we can access the image from this so let's take uh, the url out of the response and console uh, the url right let me just comment the response see we have a url click on it we do have image let me refresh it and see we have different image now okay url is working fine now we need to uh, create a image tag let image or uh, document dot create not attribute element image okay image dot src set to url and we need to append it to image container so let's just have image container here document dot query selector dot image container let me just append this image to image container append child this image right okay let's see we have one image right but the functionality of uh, viewing is not uh, there so for this we just need to have uh, just need to copy the code we just need to copy this code uh, because it's responsible for clicking and viewing it and add it to here and we can make it img cool we have one image and uh, it's viewing right it's working fine so instead of one image let's have nine image initially we can simply uh, call it nine times or we can have a for loop inside this and uh, suppose we have we are we do have uh, an in the parameters of this function or argument and we are passing a uh, nine here cool so we do have nine images initially perfect so yeah we do have nine images initially oh, one thing we can do after this we want to uh, implement the infinite scroll functionality 
it just uh, when the scroll is down we need to call this get image again and again and again right so for that uh, first uh, i need you to know about these three property client height client height uh, scroll height first these two then i'll one more word will which you need to know about so client height and scroll height let's uh, assume uh, let's see now we have nine images right but visible to you only six so this is uh, the visible part which is visible to you it's a uh, it's known as client height okay and the part which is scrollable right so this is uh, the whole height it's known as scroll height like the total which is not even visible to you but it's there you can scroll it to it so it's a scrollable scroll height i suppose you got these two words are clear now comes the third part is which is scroll top uh, scroll top is like uh, how much you have scroll down from the top okay like uh, this much i have scroll like this height this height i have scrolled down right so this property uh, tells how much it has been scroll from the top cool so these three property these three words which uh, you need to know let's add a uh, event listener to scroll e scroll event okay to our window window dot add event listener scroll or uh, and execute this function e, right and uh, we have a uh, let's just console e okay first and for let me just comment other console and see what do you have in the event if i scroll we do have a scroll event right and uh, inside this we have uh, many keys but the target key which is uh, useful for us is the uh, target is document inside document we have something known as document element okay and uh, inside this we have these three words or properties uh, client top you can see and uh, other two as well like scroll height and scroll top so we can get these three from it let me use just destructuring client height scroll height and scroll top equal e dot target dot document element cool let's see uh, these three values first first of all let's have client height then uh, have console.log scroll top and at last let's have console.log uh, scroll height okay uh, let's see what are the values of these threes at the starting uh, okay last one is undefined let me see if there is spelling mistake last one scroll height is undefined scroll client height okay uh client height i think client height is undefined okay the spelling is wrong uh client height is not defined we need to change here as well now we have three values okay at the starting uh let's observe client height is a uh, one zero zero two okay the scroll top uh it has just small uh, small has been scrolled from the top okay 36 and uh, our scroll height is 1170 like we do have a scrollable content right at the bottom focus here at the bottom we have three values if you focus here uh, and you observe very carefully you will observe that client height plus scroll top is equal to scroll height right so we can apply a condition when these condition this condition hits like uh, client height plus uh, scroll top equal equal our scroll height this means we are at the bottom right so let's just have this condition or uh, client height plus scroll top if these two or uh, some of these two equals scroll height what does it mean it simply means we are at the bottom okay and once we are at the bottom what do we need to call do we just need to call our get image function it will have it will get of image and add it to container okay let's see i'm at the bottom no, it's not working let's see what's the error 
here okay uh, issue is with the 0.5 0.5 issue so so for mm, we can just add plus and make it greater than or equal to because we have added one so it will be slightly greater now let's observe yeah as we hit the bottom uh, a new image has been added right as soon uh, as soon as i at the as soon as i scroll at the bottom we do have images right i have set uh, one number you can even get three images if you want okay so yeah this is one of the method of implementing infinite scroll in javascript okay the, the three properties is client height scroll height and scroll top with using this and observing carefully the numbers you can implement this so yeah that's it uh, that's it for this video i hope you understand and if you i hope you have you have understood the project and if you have any doubt regarding the infinite scroll or these three properties or any of the out, doubt you can just simply comment down and do let me know and uh, if you want any project me to cover i'll be more than happy to cover for you okay goodbye